Okay, so welcome to the uh, Traders for Traders um, uh, webinar on uh, our sort of training profile methodology and uh, give you a bit more background about our company and you know, how you can really sort of harness your uh, true potential on the market. Now, our trading company, you know, to be successful in this market, you know, you need a, a decent amount of experience, okay, or knowledge from, a, from an experienced resource. And this is what we sort of provide here. You're trading fundamentally and technically both aspects of the market. Okay, not sort of trading blind, just putting technical trades on across the board. You're going to be uh, slowly hacked to death if you uh, go about trading that way. Now, looking at the uh, the market, okay. Oh, sorry, actually, before I get started, I'm going to give you the usual disclaimer here, right? The um, one, especially for our US clients, that the uh, CFTC makes sure that uh, we use. Now, one of the key parts to this um, disclaimer is obviously you can lose your cash trading like any other sort of um, hobby out there, I guess, even though this isn't a hobby. But the funny thing about the hypothetical part is everything that we do here at Trades for Traders is with real money. Okay, there's no hypothetical trading, there's no uh, pretend trade setups. It's real trading by real traders. We are a, first and foremost a trading company, and uh, the education resource is you know a subsidiary of that. Now, just an introduction to uh, to myself. I established Trades for Traders in 2009. What we, uh, a lot of people are actually sort of just discovering us now, and it's primarily through, uh, well, probably through a lack of marketing. We actually haven't done any marketing anywhere. You know, I write in a few magazines and a few bits and pieces here and there, but uh, as far as actually getting out there and marketing the product, we haven't actually had to do that. It's just been sort of word of mouth. As I said, the trading company has been established for some time. Um, now we're sort of starting to broaden our uh, horizons and, and get out there and sort of share a bit of the, um, not necessarily the secrets of what we do, but you know how to really become successful in this market. Now, one of the key parts is the you know I developed the whole program myself, um, and this is after sort of a good you know 20 years experience in investment banks in uh, Sydney, London, and New York, um, and I've worked extensively through Asia. But I, I mean, I we used to sort of go for month stints in, into Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong. Uh, but I never actually sort of really lived there. I lived in New York and uh, London and, and Sydney, obviously. But um, you know what the experience you get and the, the trading knowledge you get is from that hands-on. And I was, you know, a chief dealer of half of the operations I worked at. You know, I was managing sort of big twenty to thirty, forty uh, man dealing rooms, uh, aggressive traders with big um, with big egos. I can tell you, it was a bit of a handful. But the uh, the real knowledge and experience that that I got as a junior trader is the same experience that was rolled out through the ranks. And this is the way traders learn in institutions. They get guys out of university, they train them up over the course of a couple of years, and then they try and milk as much out of them as they can before they move on to bigger and better things. Okay, so that's that's the sort of core nature of our program itself. Now, trading, okay? Trading isn't random. This is one of the key things you have to understand. You just need to understand the trading process. Each time you come back to the computer, there's a set process that you need to go through to understand and isolate the low risk, high probability trading opportunities. Every day you come back to the computer, there's, you'll go through that same process and you'll quickly realize that you're not trading every day. Okay, The market doesn't give up cash every day. What you need to be doing is a bit of patience, discipline and control to wait for the good opportunities and then you strike. If you know how to analyze the market fundamentally and technically, well then that's when you can really harness your true potential. Okay, unfortunately, the majority majority of traders are inadequately prepared and fail. They have loads of enthusiasm. They are chasing the dollar. Okay? What they end up doing is chasing their tail. Okay? Without uh, appropriate or um, you know the correct knowledge in the market you are just going to end up chasing your tail and it's going to be sort of a pretty miserable experience. Okay, so what you really need is you need more than just ambition. Okay, looking at your past results, looking for future results. Okay, a couple of the key things that we tell traders is you need to change your bad habits. Now, if you haven't been trading before, well, then there's a chance to get you into this without any creating any bad habits at all. At the same time, if you have been, you probably do have a lot of bad habits. And one of them is sitting in front of the computer for eight to ten hours a day. Okay. Not only will you go completely insane, okay, you will sit there, start placing trades just because you're bored. 
Okay, and you think, well, I'm wasting, I'm sitting here, I might as well trade. It's the wrong way to go about trading. Now, you, you also need to clean up your currency charts. Now, most of the people that have come through our program have come through various technical courses and they are littered with indicators all over the place. Okay, they contradict each other, they are confusing. Uh, you won't know which way is up, which way is down because they'll be telling you different things. Okay, they are not consistent enough to adequately put your capital in the game. So you've got to get those off, off your screens. Thirdly, you've got to learn how to trade like a pro. Okay, you need to understand the trading process and that's what's really going to deliver your capital growth. Now trading isn't, isn't a hobby, okay? This is, this is a, an experience to change your lifestyle and add an extra income to your bottom line. Okay, and that's where we fit in, is to give you that knowledge and experience, make sure you understand the market fundamentally and technically, the strategies, and understand the trading process. So the whole program that we have is, it's all about building the trading process. Okay, as I said, this, every time you come back to the computer, you need to come back through and reassess the market, reboot and reconnect. Now, it doesn't mean you spend endless hours doing this, it's actually the opposite. But once you understand the trading process, you'll be ready to trade the market at all times, wherever you might be. Okay, and it starts with capital management. Okay, this is the core component. You need to get this right. This is your business plan. And if you have your capital management squared away, there is no risk of you losing any of your, or you can potentially lose some of your money, but you're not going to lose all your money. You know, the most we risk with our capital management system, and this is an aggressive approach, is 20%. Okay, so if you put 10 grand in, you're risking two grand to make an unlimited amount of money. Put 20 grand in, you're risking four grand, okay, to make an unlimited amount. Most people who go, who think about trading, they think, well, I put 10 grand in, I'm a pretty good chance of losing it. You're not in this, in this situation. Then coming across to the fundamental analysis, okay, the driving force of the market, you need to understand how the market works. Why do the currencies go up and down? From here, where are the, where are the key entry levels? Where do I get in? Where do I get out? That's where the, what technical analysis gives us. Then understanding the key trading strategies is imperative. Now, we've had numerous people from um, a couple of different companies in particular who have come through with about 15 different trading strategies. I can tell you there's generically like four, okay, three that you'll use very common and one that sort of kicks in occasionally when the currencies do start trending. Okay, now, Understanding the market, there's an extra strategy here that you can really employ and attack the market, and it's trading live economic data releases. This is a, a you know, it was one thing just being exciting, but it's also a very profitable way to actually harness the um, the fundamentals that are coming out in various senses. Trade execution, this is one area that uh, you need to sort of really refine. We built some actually trading software which is part of the program at no additional cost, which makes trading easier, okay? The easier you can execute, the more trades you'll place and the more money you'll make, okay? So once we have that understanding, the last piece of the puzzle is that trade execution. But understanding where you fit into the market is very important. If someone had to sort of say to me, what are the two components of the trading process here, uh, which, are the, which are the most important? Okay, well, firstly, capital management. And then secondly, trading psychology. Okay, having you prepared for the ups and downs of trading is very important. Now, most people sort of think about trading psychology. It's like keeping, um, you know, keeping things together if you're having a, a bad run. I can tell you, because we know how the currencies work and where they're going, what you really need to be concentrating on is keeping it together when you start making money. Most of our clients in, in the past have actually really struggled to manage themselves once they start becoming successful. Okay, they change the whole trading process and they get too relaxed with it. All right, let me just go through the various components here of the, um, the trading process, give you a bit more backbone into the whole, each, each component. Okay, starting with capital management. Now, capital management is all about controlling risk. Okay, it's the only one thing that you can control in this market. It's the most important aspect of any trading system. And it's why a lot of fund managers, uh, banks, they spend millions and millions on risk management systems so they can quantify and control the risk. Our capital management system does the same thing. Okay, make sure you, you aren't over trading. If you are, 
We have specific quick drawdowns to protect yourself at all times, whilst giving you an exponential growth factor. If you have no capital management, you better understand you're a sitting target. Okay, You're one trade away from being blown away. So it's very important you get the concept and you incorporate it in your trading system methodology to make sure that um, you do know what's going on. Now, a good capital management system, okay, it perfectly incorporates the capital management, the management of your money, okay, also your risk reward ratio, and lastly, your trade plan. Putting these things succinctly together ha enables you to start thinking about the market instead of worrying about, am I trading, uh, you know, is, are my risk reward ratio is correct? Am I managing my cash? Where's my trade plan? This is all wrapped up into one tidy trade plan which incorporates these three factors. Okay, just a quick one on risk reward ratio. You've got to be making three times as much as you risk. Okay, most clients or companies out there who are doing this who have no professional experience have you trading one to one. The idea is, you know, it's a bit of a hobby. You don't want to lose your money. You don't want to make too much money. You know, those sorts of things. Well, this is about making money. I can tell you, day one in any financial institution, if you're not making three times as much as you risk, you know, you won't last long in the job. And it's the same for uh, managing your own cash. The trade plan itself, okay, it's about identifying and executing uh, trades and then following up. Okay, what we are doing, we analyze the market fundamentally and technically, looking for the low risk, high probability entry errors. What happens when that trade kicks in? Well, the trade plan takes over. If you're executed, these are your exits, take profit and stop loss. This is the same for every trade. It gives you less to think about and more structure in your whole trading process. Now, but what, what, what's it really about? Well, your capital management, of course, it's about managing the drawdowns. Okay. Now, hopefully you don't even experience any sort of major drawdowns at all. But if you start over trading and uh, you know, trading at the wrong times, you know, a lot of guys think, well, I've got the day off today. Today's my trade day. I can tell you those days, most days we know when the currency is going to move in a 10-point range or when they're potentially going to move in 150 points. So what you need to do is, is your capital management will be working behind the scenes to make sure you don't have any major drawdowns. Looking at the, uh, the structure of this with the 3 to 1 risk reward ratio, okay, your profits, you're making a lot more money very quickly. You're going up the escalator and down the stairs. Okay, this is the sort of growth profile that your capital management structure will provide. Okay, so when you come back to looking, looking at the exponential growth factor, this is where the sort of gorgeous part of the whole system comes in. Okay, we have quick drawdowns if we aren't going um, that well. Okay, if you are having a run of losses, if you are making money, you increase your trade size very quickly as you go up through the, um, the capital management levels. So what that does is you start to make a lot of money very quickly. Your trade size doubles at each level. So from even from going from level one, two, and three, you know, you, you've probably made about 20 grand, but you're trading three times as much, and you're now making a serious amount of cash, and that's where the growth really comes from on that focus. Now, what have we seen across the board here? We have seen a lot of uh, countries where traders are generally struggling. That's because a lot of people have got equity experience, trading equities over the years. Okay, These are two completely different markets. Most of the, uh, the knowledge and education, whether it's on the internet or provided by other sort of companies, okay, as I said, most of them don't have any, have any real experience. They don't have a specific capital management system. It's a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, and it's more about not losing your money, not making money. Okay, So and this is quite common across the globe. Okay, In the US, uh, Japan and Singapore in particular, the regulators have taken this into their own uh, hands and decreased, decreased the amount of leverage that they um, are allowed to harness. I can tell you trading 25 to 1, that's plenty of leverage that you need. Okay, It's more than enough. So most people are sort of blown away with a few of the gimmicks out there, and one of them is 100 to 1 leverage. All right, now fundamental analysis, moving straight on from capital management. Now, when you think of fundamental analysis, this is probably one of the most confusing areas for, uh, for new traders into the market. It is the key to the market. Okay? This is where all the, um, you know, the movement comes from. If you don't understand the fundamentals, you're like, it's like lambs to the slaughter. And this is one of the areas that we really focus on, getting you up the curve with what's going on in the market itself. 
okay? The fundamentals provide the answers, okay? When it comes to trade decision time, do I buy or sell? Well, the answer is right in front of you, okay? It's, it's in the numbers. It's, it's in the movement of the currencies. So the fundamental analysis itself, what does it give you? It gives you specific currency direction. You know, most days when you come to the market and you're looking sort of, you know, trying to work out whether you're a buyer or a seller, okay, it can be quite confusing sometimes. The fundamentals, the economic numbers that are coming out as well as this from the central banks, they will give you specific direction. So all you need to think about from there is where do you get in, not which way is it going. Okay, that's what you've got to be thinking about. But the complexity of the fundamentals, and this is, as I said, it is can be a bit confusing for new traders. It, it's not as simple as, um, you know, destroying trend lines. Okay, there's a few things to consider here. We've got geopolitical uh, issues. We've got the central banks. And of course, the economic data releases that come out in each centre as well. Okay, there's sort of three components here. Now, if these three components are working together, okay, and generally that means no geopolitical events like the uh, Ukraine-Russia issue, issue some months ago, um, and the, the central banks just operate policy based on the economic numbers. So it's actually very easy. You don't need an economics degree. It's actually quite simple to understand how these things fit in. And that's part of the core part of the program. Now, the economic data releases themselves, okay, there's a bunch of uh, numbers here, they may not mean anything to you, and that's okay, because we'll explain generally what they are, but what we're looking for is variance from the forecast to the actual release itself. That creates market volatility and gives the currencies specific direction, okay? This is where the answers are. As I said, when you're looking for direction of the currencies, the answers are generally in front of you. So that's what you've got to be sort of thinking about. Coming through to the uh, central banks, okay, these guys dominate and control policy in each of these uh, major currencies. Okay, so you've got uh, the eight major central banks. These are the guys that, um, as I said, determine policy, and they will determine whether the currencies are going up or down. Now, the sentiment from these guys is generally categorized in three ways. Okay, you can either be bullish or hawkish, bearish or dovish, okay, or neutral, and the currency is generally trading sideways. So it's, pre it's pretty easy. Once we have clear sentiment from the central bank, we know which direction the currency is going in, then we have to just, all we have to concentrate on is where do we get into the currency once again. So you can break it down through the fundamentals to make the trading opportunities easier. So, but the central banks are obviously very important because they do control monetary policy, interest rates, and the markets move around basically on interest rates, whether they're going up or whether where they're going down. Okay, so that's where the whole structure from for the fundamentals starts. It starts with the central banks and then leads into the economic numbers. So if your overall success as a trader, okay, if you're just trading technically, well, good luck to you. You know, you may have a few winners, you'll have plenty of losses. If you're just trading fundamentally, you can actually survive and make good money. But where we, what we do is we combine the fundamentals with the technicals to get even better results, okay, refine our trading opportunities. The current bias in the market, okay, which comes from the economic numbers themselves, okay, we generally know if the currency is going to go up, whether it's going to go sideways or downwards, because that's what the numbers in front of us tell us is going to happen. Now, combine these two things together, okay, so the economic data releases provide short-term trading opportunities, okay? They'll either be uh, positive and the currency will go up, or they'll be negative and the currency will go down. Then you overlay market sentiment, okay, from the central banks. This is where the longer-term direction for the currencies comes from. Now, that sentiment itself can be positive, negative, or neutral, okay, depending whether they're in an interest rate hiking mode or uh, just standing still or, or cutting rates. Then when you combine these two things together, okay, and this is as the, as the program sort of comes together, you know, the central bank will set sentiment and that'll be the longer term direction or trend for the currency. In between that, we'll have economic data releases which may be weak, okay, it's a very short term bias. So there's still trading opportunities against the overall trend, but at the end of the day, the overall trend will, will dominate. Where this even gets better is if the overall trend is, say, to the top side here, like the Aussie dollar is, 
Okay, if you get stronger economic numbers, well, the trading opportunity is even better, and that's where we'll start to look at doubling up trades on those on those particular opportunities. Okay, it's where your your capital management structure really comes into play. Okay, so now really coming to the uh, technical analysis side of things. Now, this is where a lot of traders have been misled uh, into thinking that the technicals provides the answers whether where to, where whether to buy or sell, it doesn't. It just tells you where, what levels you should be looking at. Okay, so when we look at technical analysis, we'll be training you to look at the charts the same way the guys at the banks do. What they look for, they look for specific entry levels. That's all they're looking for out of the charts. They're not looking for indicators to tell them to buy or sell. That's so far from the real market, it's not funny. Okay, so once we understand what your charts are giving you, then you can start to realise some real potential. Okay, so when we're looking at uh, trend lines, okay, we're really looking at support and resistance trend lines. Okay, support on the downside sloping upwards, resistance on the top side sloping downwards. Okay, going from the highs to the next highest level, and, and vice versa on the on the uh, support levels. What do they provide? Okay, these trend lines give us key points called key entry levels. It's around the trend lines where the action is. Okay, 95% of all transactions occur around trend lines, but you have to know where to get in. And we're not transacting on the trend lines. Okay, we're, we're, we're dealing away from there. That's where the carnage is. Okay, so that's one of the core components is understanding where to get in. Now, another part of the whole technical aspect is understanding the, the retracement process. Okay, the best thing about technical analysis is, especially in the wholesale market, it's got universal principles. Okay, you'll find on our uh, charts, we don't have moving averages, we don't have Bollinger Bands, we don't have MACDs, we don't have average directional movement, movement index and all this sort of stuff, it's all rubbish. Okay, what we're looking for is specific movement on the currencies. Okay, so when the currencies do come up to specific lines here, you've got to understand the process of what happens when, they, when it does come to trend lines and what happens when it breaks trend lines. What's the process? Okay, it's pretty it's simple stuff once you understand it. That's the best thing about technical analysis is you can get up to advanced levels very quickly. But the process here is once the currency goes through these levels, it just doesn't go straight through 100 points. Okay, generally there's a retracement process. Okay, it could be like over the course of four or five, six hours where the currency actually retraces and then starts to drift off. And the second part of the trade, that's what is much quicker. Okay, so understand there's a process here. Now, if you're used to sitting in front of a computer for, you know, eight to ten hours a day, wasting wasting your life, well then you're sadly mistaken watching these currencies drift through these trend lines because it's, it's a slow process. So understand the process here can take four to six hours, you know, even to get it going. The second half of the trade is very quick. Okay, so you put your order in play. That's all you need to do and just sort of sit back and let it go. Now, one area that you can do, we, we, we train people to spend less time in front of the computers. One thing that we can use to get uh, a handle of what's going through the market on momentum is to really sort of incorporate some stochastics. Okay? This is a momentum indicator. Okay? It's not a, it doesn't tell us to buy or sell. It just tells us what's, what, what stage the market is at during the day. And this is what traders look at inside the banks to gauge momentum. Okay, you know, generally around fundamental releases, it's not worth a worth the uh, a grain of salt. But outside of that, when there's nothing going on, traders will use stochastics to gauge momentum to buy or sell and manage their positions. Now, coming back to um, you know when there is no fundamental releases, okay, you're looking at uh, you know just trading technically. Very simple. You're looking to place limit orders or stop entry orders either side of the market. This is generic technical trading, which you've got to get up the curve with and understand how it fits in. Where technical trading really does work, okay, if you've got clear bias in a currency, whether it's going up or down or, or very clearly going sideways, well, then you know which orders to place. Okay, Going into to trading technically without any understanding of the bias of the currency or what's going through, is that's where the bloodbath comes in. So we'll, we'll be training you to trade technically as well as fundamentally on two separate occasions. And then once you have both of them, combining them to get the, the best results. 
Now, one thing you have to understand the different time zones, okay? They aren't all the same, particularly the Asian session, okay? They do focus on a, on a big moving average over there. It's called the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo Cloud Formation. So one of the things we'll be teaching you is through the process is about the Asian session itself, understanding the cloud. What does it mean? What does it do for us? There's a number of things here that we take off the cloud because they're irrelevant. But what we want to do is make sure we understand what the Japanese traders are doing. They are the biggest market in Asia. There's 120 million people in Japan, and I'd say just about every person has at least one, if not two, accounts. Okay, it's the biggest FX market in the world. So it's very important you understand how they trade and what they're looking at. The best thing is, I look at this big giant moving average, this big big, big indicator, and it works very similar to, to uh, technical analysis, which is another easy concept to get. Okay, but once you understand it, then you can trade very efficiently, especially the end crosses, okay, predominantly in the Asian session, but also understanding how this works across the globe as the time zones change. Okay, the um, obviously there's a number of features here, the Kumo, the Cloud, the Tenken Sen, the Kijun Sen, and the Chikau Span. The, the last three are moving averages. We actually get rid of those and we don't really concentrate on them. It's more about the cloud itself but we explain that through the, uh, the course of the program. Now, Fibonacci retracements. Everyone's probably heard about Fibonacci, Leonardo Fibonacci, uh, famous mathematician from Pisa. Now, this guy had some great ideas. It's a great reoccurring um, um, anomaly in, uh, in nature. Okay, it's all over the place, shells. You can see uh, you know, the Fibonacci, the whole um, you know, sequence is, is big in history all over the place. Now, traders don't use this every day in the market. They're not using it on five-minute charts, 15-minute charts, all this sort of rubbish. Okay? They're using it when currencies break outside of trends and looking for major potential moves. That's where it comes into play. Incorporating Fibonacci's on, um, into your day-to-day -day activities on small time frames, okay? like this uh, guy on the slide there, you'll be a sitting target. Okay? You're looking at the wrong stuff because traders at the banks don't look at it like that. All right, now moving quickly on to uh, the trading strategies. Okay, as I said, these are, are, are quite generic and quite simple. Okay, there's pretty, pretty much only four strategies, and you need to know how each of them work and when to incorporate them. If you don't use a full suite of strategies, okay, then you're isolating the times that you can trade. And then even when you look at the trading strategies themselves, okay, pretty simple. You get the trend trade where we're looking for consistent one-way activity. The range trade, sideways moving markets. Okay, the break trade, the break of the recent ranges, and the false break, the range resuming after a break. Now, all you need to be able to do is identify, analyze the market, work out what stage it's at, and then use that strategy. Okay, so most traders are sort of always sort of sitting about going, what strategy am I going to use? Well, once again, once you can fundament, analyze the market fundamentally and technically, then you can come back in and the strategy will be tapping you on the shoulder going, this is what you do today. This is what we should be doing for this currency. For that currency over there, it's this one. Okay, so the strategies, it isn't a matter of dipping your hand into your, uh, your toolkit and going, well, here we go, I've got the range trade today. You don't, you don't use that when a currency is breaking or if it's already broken through. It's, you know, you've got to work with the market. Now, trading live economic data releases, this is one of the more exciting aspects of the market and one that you could really harness um, some very quick cash out of the specific currencies. Okay? Now, one thing that you have to understand, this is just an additional strategy on top okay, that you can use. But understand, if you lose control here, it can be quite a miserable experience. And we've seen people rush into to different currency pairs which are volatile, uh, on extreme variance and, and what have you. Okay, and lose some money very quickly. They can be high impacting, but because of that, they are extremely directional. But the one thing you have to understand is there is high risk. And this is why we built some of our trading software to identify and execute the trades extremely efficiently to take advantage of these opportunities. At various times, trading the economic data releases will be the best opportunities you can get. At other times, you know, not so good. So you need to be able to identify when it's good and when it's not. And that's where the live trading desk comes in and you can watch the traders trade this stuff and be guided through where the best opportunities are. But understand, the economic numbers, this is the main game. 
This is why traders in every institution globally sits up, pays attention, and gets ready to trade. Now, their, their jobs are all, all around bonuses and things. The, the best opportunities come from these releases. Now, you don't necessarily need to be trading the economic numbers. You could, the, sometimes the best trade is after the release itself, after the, you know, a bit of the carnage, especially around some of the central bank announcements, which can be extremely volatile, and you can see some big you know, two-way moves. So, but understanding this is going to be, um, I tell you, not only exciting, but very rewarding. Part of the major process of getting up the curve here is managing the variance around these events. Generally, when we see economic numbers come out, we have a number of choices. Do we stay in the position? Do we add to the position or do we close the position? Okay, if you're really looking to make serious amounts of coin, you've got to um, get up the curve here. Okay, I just want to make sure that the uh, sound is back on. Looks like we've just lost the audio there for a second. All right, okay. So as I was sort of saying, the uh, the major component here of the um, you know of the economic numbers, it's all about sort of direction for the currencies. You know, sometimes the uh, trading these live economic numbers is can be uh, extremely beneficial. The other times, you know, it can be quite hazardous. So it's actually understanding the market and where it's at is is the key to this. Now managing the um, uh, the, the variance, okay, as you come into the actual uh, opportunities themselves, this is around the live economic data releases, mind you. Okay, there's, there's three decisions you need to make, and this is what we're going to have you focusing on. Do you stay in the position, okay, do you add to the position, or do you close the position? The general numbers will determine exactly, um, you know, what you should be doing. And having an understanding of the market and how you manage your capital will be critical in this. Now, what we're trying to avoid is, you know, the whipsaw price action that can come out. Knowing which data releases and which currency pairs to avoid is very important. This is what people get confused with and why they think trading live economic data can be, you know, carnage. It can be if you, know, if you don't know what you're doing. You can get 20, quick 20 point up moves, a quick 20 point down move, okay, and you're sort of whipped in, whipped out of the position, you know, aspirations to make a lot of money out of the event, but if you go into the wrong ones, you're just going to get a, sort of get bitten every time. And that's what we sort of focus on is, is training you to identify which opportunities are the good ones and which ones aren't so good. So trading live, what we, what we mainly do is look for um, trend lines. These are the, where the best opportunities are. You combine the fundamentals with the technicals, that's where the great opportunities are. And as you can see there, that uh, this trade manager here on the left, that's our T-Rex trade manager. That makes trading these opportunities even easier. Okay, so what do we do when we have fundamentals and technicals matching up? Okay, well, what we do is we probably we increase our trade size. Okay, on the events, all traders are buying technically and fundamentally. What you get is you get very strong moves, and if we know where to get into the currency pair, it's a matter of placing the order. Okay, all traders are buying fundamentally and technically. They're very good opportunities. And that's where you're going to build a lot of capital very quickly. And that's where you want to get on board. That's what the guys at the banks are doing. They're looking for these opportunities to jump into the currency, increase their trade size, and their, ex their capital growth is quite exponential. Now, coming down to trade execution. Now, this is one area I find that most traders struggle with. Okay, What it is, it's because of the variable market conditions. Okay. During various, you know, you could have financial crisis, uh, geopolitical events, or just varying data releases, the market isn't always the same. It's not the same thing every day. Like fundamentally, the core market is, but you can have shifts in different currencies, and the currencies can get quite aggressive. Each of the various currency pairs has varying liquidity you know, conditions. You know, the Kiwi is not as liquid as the Aussie. Um, you know, the Swiss isn't liquid as the Euro. You know, which currencies follow which currencies? These are the things you need to be aware of. So when it does become 
down to trade execution, you know what you're looking for. And what is it? Well, we're really looking for precise entry levels. Okay, we're looking for, we're waiting very patiently, we have our set target, and when we see it, we hit it. Okay, that's what, what you've got to be sort of focusing on. Execution, understanding the types of orders that you can be placing. Now, this is where it comes back to the simplicity once again. These are the same on every broking company, the same in the market. The orders on the top line here, market, limit, stop entry, and OCO orders, okay, they're all entry orders. Okay, if you look at the bottom line there, the if done, the take profit, stop loss, and trailing stop, they're all exit orders. You need to know which ones to use at various times. Once you do understand how to place the orders and which ones to use, you'll be able to trade in all market conditions. So when things, you know, when some traders sort of see the market hotting up, they pull out because they're, they're quite nervous. They can't control their risk. They can't control their capital. Um, you know, they get very nervous. You'll be able to control yourself, your capital, and your order management by understanding the market and understanding how your capital works in it. Okay. From there, it's quite simple. Okay. All we need to do is manage our open positions, whether they're geopolitical events or any other random release. Now, the economic data releases and the central banks, they set up their data, you know, like a year in advance. So we know when they're, when they're happening. There's the occasional random event, which does come out of generally the politicians. Okay, that's where we need to protect ourselves, and that's what our trade plan does. Okay, we're always in control of our risk. You know, through order management, before the trade, after the trade, our position is live, managing the position through, uh, through T-Rex and the order management protocols, and then you can control your risk, and what that's going to lead to is more consistent capital growth. Okay, once you have this nailed, it's all about looking for opportunities and building your capital from here. Now, coming back to the, um, as I said, one of the most important aspects, probably the second most important behind capital management, trading psychology. Now, this is one area that um, most traders, you know, sort of forget about or aren't even sort of given their heads up on. Now, this is one area that you need to sort of harness, and it's because most people aren't used to trading. Okay, they haven't sort of, you know, I've I've traded, been a trader for 25 years since I left university, and 20 of those in institutions. Okay, we find that most people's psychology gets in the way. They don't believe they can be successful because they've been trying it, had limited success. That's where they can lose the plot. You need to get break out of those shackles. You've got to break old habits. Okay, I can tell you uh, from our experience, and this is a, a global experience, um, traders in all different centers. Okay, you got to get used to turning your screens on and not trading. Okay, the biggest problem for traders that we have trained that have had previous experience is over trading. Trading, training you to isolate the best opportunities and waiting for those to happen. So what that includes is, you know, do your analysis. Don't spend eight hours in front of the computer because you're going to waste your time. Okay, and then also don't turn the computers on and sit there and think, well, I've got the computers on, I might as well trade. What you got, you're going to end up doing is over trading. Okay, and this is one of the biggest hazardous areas for traders. Now, you might think that traders go into the banks each day and sit there and trade all day. Trade all day, they don't. Okay, they walk in there. They're sort of looking at the clock, waiting to when they can go home. Now, the situation is, if you sit at your desk all day, you will start trading just impulsively. And we've got to sort of cut that sort of out of your game. You come to the market, analyze the markets, work out where the best opportunities are, and then go about your day. It's not about sort of, don't let this market dominate your uh, lifestyle. So when it comes down to working out where are the best trading opportunities, okay, and you think to yourself, where are they? I know the market's on here. I can see the cars is moving. Where are the best trading opportunities here? Well, once you've mastered the trading process, they will stand out like a sore thumb. Okay, you will see fundamentally and technically where the trade, the best trading opportunities are. Then we're just looking to put our capital in play, and then take advantage of the opportunities. Let the market do the work for us. Now, let me just come back. Um, quickly and run through the uh, just the fundamental releases, the economic data releases that are out there. Now, there's lots of opportunities every month. Okay, you've got central bank announcements. Okay, loads of, you know, well, there's obviously eight key central banks. So they each meet 
every four to six weeks. We've got the CPI data, you know, GDP numbers, retail sales figures, unemployment rate and change, and manufacturing data, just, just a few of the numbers that are coming out. Okay? But when you break it down into the components, and this is where traders are always wondering where the um, you know, where, where are the best opportunities? Well, they can be around these numbers. Okay, and this is, as I said, this is only a few of them. We can break it down even further and go, well, there's eight countries make up the major currency pairs. Okay, there's at least seven major releases for each country, and that's, that's a quite a conservative number. There's, there's at least probably 12, you know, big ones each, in each uh, economy. Then you come down to, okay, well, there's eight major currency pairs. There's uh, eight, eight economies, sorry. There's seven opportunities in each one. You, you look at it, say, conservatively, about 56 opportunities each month. This is just on the economic data releases, mind you. Okay, so there's only 22 trading days each month on average, you know, 20 to 22. You know, 56 opportunities a month, that means there's, there's at least two a day. Okay, there's two of these directional opportunities every day. You don't need to sit at your computer and wait for this stuff. When these things are on, that's the time to sort of pay attention and potentially put your trades in play. So what you, we've got to train you to do is, to be patient and wait for the good opportunities to come up. Don't sit in front of the computer all day and hack yourself to death, and then when these good opportunities come up, you get your money back. It's about waiting, being patient, and then trading, hitting the market, and taking the cash out of it. Now, let me just give you some simple logic here, and I'm not going to go sort of spend a lot of time going through our whole capital management system, but generally the starting, the, you know, the starting point, if you, for example, if you've got $10,000, okay, we on the outset are risking two and a half percent to make seven and a half percent. Okay, so if you've got ten grand in the account, you're making seven hundred and fifty bucks a trade and you're risking two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, that's just from the very get go. Now if you look at the opportunities in the market just on the fundamentals and, and not even considering the uh, technicals at this point, there's at least fifty fundamental opportunities each month. Okay, so there's plenty of opportunities. You don't need to, need to sit at the computer. You don't need to. You don't need to track every time zone and every opportunity. You'll have that many to go through. That the more relaxed you are, and the, you hit the ones that are, are suitable for you. That's where the best opportunities are. Now, when we generally say to traders, "Okay, do you want to be successful?" And they're like, "Yeah, of course I do." Now, we know that uh, you know if you're in the UK or the US, you're getting close to zero for your money in the bank. Okay, or obviously Europe as well. Now, in Australia, interest rates are around 2%, 2.5%. So, you know, you're not going to get much. Trading FX, I mean, with our capital management system, you're only making 7.5% on a full winning trade when you get into this. Now, if you have one winning trade a week, after four weeks, okay, that equates to 30%. Okay, we're looking for a good run there. Now, Let's, let's make this a little bit more realistic and say over the course of that month, say you have 10 losing trades. Okay, The first four losses will equate to 10%, the second four losses on the quick drawdown 5%, and the next two losses 1.25%, Okay, which equates to 16.25%. Okay, That's a decent sort of uh, whack to your account, but not if you're actually making money on the top side here. So the whole process here, your monthly income, okay. 30% minus 16.25, you're looking at conservatively 13% a month. You know, that's just actually trading the live economic numbers. Annual income, okay, 13.75, obviously times it by 12, you're looking at 165%. A lot of people ask us, how much money should I be expecting to make? Well, the real answer is there's no sort of limitation here, but you should be making at least 100% per annum. It's not a lot of money to make when you're investing in this live market. Okay, this isn't, you know, and I know, you know, we've got a risk reward ratio of three to one. We've got a, a professional capital management system which guides you through the market. You'll understand understand the market fundamentally and technically, and that's where the real growth of this market is. Now, the expert trader program itself, this has been designed around to give you entry into the market at a minimum sort of cost as well as give you specific structure to understand the market fundamentally and technically and all the other components to get you in the game and trading sooner than later. Okay, so this is where the process is. It's four simple steps to learning. 
to getting you in the in the trades. The online study kit, we've got a, a member's website that actually has our, an outrageously amount of, of resources. You know, educational videos as well as trading tools, recorded webinars, the whole range, the whole suite, I mean, there's well over probably 250 videos. Okay, attend a workshop. You have the opportunity to come into a, an in-person workshop. We're doing these every four to six weeks where you can actually come in and sit down with the traders over the course of a few days and run through trade execution, run through the finer points of um, um, trade execution, all those sorts of things. So looking at um, the live trading desk, okay, you get immediate access to the live trading desk so you can actually watch the traders trading live, you know, dealing, working out where to identifying how to read the market fundamentally and technically, placing the trades and making money straight away. The 30-day program itself, this is where once you've gone through the, the core components of the actual, like the two-day workshop, is getting you in the game and trading live with these uh, traders. This is where the real growth and knowledge comes from. Like learning from you know, resources is one thing, but learning in the real market, that's where the real experience comes from. And it's the same as when you like learning to drive a car. Okay, you learn out of a manual, yeah, it's great, know where a few of the controls are, all well and good, but they'll put you in the traffic, it's a different game. And that's where the real experience of the, of the live trading room and the 30-day program really comes into play. So the, the aim of the 30-day program is to give you a specific time frame to get you up to speed, give you the knowledge and an understanding and experience to start executing and trading live in the market. Okay, it's going to give you the confidence to really sort of push forward instead of holding back like you may have done in the past, really pushing forward. It'll give you a focus for the job ahead. Okay, planning, developing trades, looking for new ideas, what's going on in the market, strategies, how can I make more money? But more importantly, giving you specific goals to focus on. So what's the plan of attack? Well, it's all about making more money. Okay, so that's what you really need to be uh, looking at. It's about making cash. That's the bottom line. You need clear vision when you come to the computer each time, exactly what you're going to do every time you turn the computer on. You don't like sort of come to the computer and start guessing. There's a bit of a checklist here that you need to go through. Where's your capital management? What's the market sentiment? Entry levels, economic data, no economic data. You know, what, what are you going to be doing here? Your risk management. Okay, it's systematic and in control at all times. Every trade you place, okay, has a stop loss and a take profit attached to it, and it's consistent. Consistent three to one profit potential. Okay, your risk reward ratio needs to be always in tune. If you start swaying from that, okay, you're either looking for too much cash or you're not putting enough on the table, and you end up trading one to one. You know, don't go anywhere. Okay, so you know, critical for your success is the whole the whole focus here, okay? Specific goals for your capital growth, okay? To give you that financial freedom and new lifestyle. You know, if you want to get hold of those things, you need specific goals, and that's where that capital management system once again comes in. Okay, we're going to train you to be a truly dynamic trader, technically and fundamentally. You'll have a specific structure, a set process, a precise trade plan, and most importantly, with stringent capital management. You'll have, extreme, you know, you'll have a specific focus here to get into the market and trade whilst your capital is under control. Okay, so get ready to learn in live markets. Okay, the learning experience isn't sort of sitting in, in a, you know, reading out of a textbook or just watching videos. It's actually trading live in the market and working with the team. For those that have traded before, I think you'll find this, you know, quite refreshing. For those that are new to the market, this is how it is and this is the way the markets work. You won't have any sort of uh, worries about sort of breaking down old habits. Our live trading desk schedule is set, you know, as the month goes through. Okay, we have a specific um, calendar here inside the member site which you can click on these uh, links and just join the webinars straight away. Okay, and the, uh, like the blue numbers here are the live trading events. You can see how many of these are a month Okay, you don't need to be sort of getting out of bed at all hours trying to nail every one of these. You get up for the ones that are in your time zone. Okay, you can come and see the traders. We're doing these uh, in-person workshops in Sydney, Hong Kong, and New York. We will be heading to uh, London shortly. 
it's a matter of sort of getting these offers finely tuned before we uh, sort of branch out even further. But the whole structure of this is online. You can join in from wherever you are. At the same time, if you want to come and uh, meet the team and actually learn some more, well, you have that opportunity as well. Now, the live trading desk, okay, we're talking real-time releases. We're not talking, you know, using Forex Factory or uh, Daily FX and getting the news two minutes late. It's, it's like two years too late. What we're talking about is understanding what the, the numbers are doing for us and where the currencies are going to go. Okay, once you understand that, the um, um, you can actually sort of really harness this as well. Okay, so what's the the aim of the live trading desk and the trading team? Well, it's going to guide you through the market. Okay, showing you which currencies to hit at various times, what uh, the focus for the market is whether the currency is going up and down, you're going to have that on a daily basis from the trading team. So you're not going to be sort of sitting there thinking, well, I've just done a, a workshop here. You know, I'm not sure what's going on. You're going to be have this every day that you're uh, available. You can actually come back and revisit this in live market conditions. Okay, we're sending out trade alerts to our members on a sort of 24-hour basis. Okay, we've got the, uh, we're covering all time zones at the moment. So the, uh, you know, our trade alerts aren't like just here and there. They're actually like in the market, entry, stop loss and take profit. The idea of those is to give you the heads up when things are going through. Now the best traders who are making the best results, look at the, the alerts and then work out why we're putting them on. If it makes sense, well then you should be making those same trade um, alerts yourself. But the, And then where the team really kicks in, okay, help you manage your capital. Okay, it, It's a new area for people to have you know, stringent capital management. We'll guide you through the opportunities where to double up and where to halve your trade size and other opportunities. This is about constantly adding capital to your program, to your to your um, account, and it's not always hitting the market hard. Okay, there's times where you tread softly, other times you do hit it hard. But the most important part is once you come through the the program, okay, the online program, you'll be part of the TPT team. You're going to be trading with us and alongside the team. You'll have ample time to ask questions at every webinar, okay, via email, Skype, or even webinars individually. We can actually sort of come back, work on your execution, work on your analysis, and then sort of guide you through the market. You'd be surprised at how experienced our team is um, to give you the knowledge and experience, you know, whilst you're watching the market as well. So what does the 30-day program give you access to? Okay, you're going to have lifetime access to the full education suite of videos. As I said, there's well over 250 there. The core components, building the trading process, the capital management, the technicals, the markets, the currencies, those core components, you know, you'll probably go through those a couple of times and then it'll be done. You'll, you'll, it'll sink in. From there, you have access to the trading tools and resources. Okay, we have a number of, um, as I said, we've got a T-Rex trade manager, a few other EAs that we use for um, placing orders in the market. Not like identifying trades, more managing the execution. The live trading desk itself, okay, goes for 30 days. You have 30 days access to the trading team and live market. Now, we used to charge a lot more for the whole program, but we, we ripped out a bit of the support to make it cheaper to people to get in, and then you have the choice of maintaining that support after the 30 days is up if you want to. Now, coming down to the trade alerts, we put those on the website. We've also got a mobile app. Okay, an iPhone and Android app that actually has all the market updates. Now, these are video updates. But we got sick of doing, um, you know, reports, and people got sick of reading reports as well. So we do quick, short, one or two minute videos. You're getting market updates on each of the European, Asian, and North American sessions, as well as what currency is in focus. Check your technical levels. These sorts of things, stuff that you can tangibly use and make sense. The daily market updates, obviously, as I just mentioned, that the currency in focus, keeping you tuned with what's going on in the market is very important, and as quickly and efficiently as we can. Now, as I said, they are available on the website as well as through the mobile app. The Traders Forum, okay, all the members are in there chewing the fat, work with, um, you know, you're experiencing your knowledge and experience with other traders who are doing the exact same thing as you. So it's a very conducive forum to uh, working out what to do. So I'm just coming back to that uh, the live trading desk, after the 30 days is up, there's no obligations here. Okay, if you want to be involved in the live trade alerts and the live trading desk and getting everything else, okay, you do have access to the education suite, as I said, for a lifetime. But that live stuff will only be 88 bucks a month. 
Now, what we did is we used to charge double for the program. We decreased the price of it by taking out a whole six months of the access. Now, you get to, to make the choice whether you want to continue with that or not. So we're going to get you up to speed to be trading and understand the market very quickly. So that's, you know, we want to give you the choice to whether you stay in the program or not, make it cheaper. So the whole program package itself, okay, everything that I've identified there, it comes down to 2,975 bucks. Okay, so this is, we believe, not only the, um, the best product in the market, but I think we've made it the, the actual most efficient and cheapest. It's fully inclusive of everything you get with the trading software, the videos, the live trading desk and everything else. The, um, that's where we think the, uh, the real benefit is here, opening the product up globally to uh, everyone to get you in the game straight away. Now, just a couple of questions before, we're ready to go into some questions as well, and I'll, I know a few of you have typed up a few questions there. How much cash do you need to start? Okay, how much cash do you need to start trading? Okay, now I know this is different for a, for a lot of companies, and um, a lot of brokers will tell you anything. You know, and, and the fact is, you can start with a thousand bucks, okay, but realistically, okay, it's probably not enough to really get going because everyone trades the same. The only difference between one trader and another and uh, this goes for, probably to answer your question there, Brent, with, it depends on how much cash you've got. Now, if you've only got 10 grand to, to um, risk here, you now we've been quite conservative with that 100%, but if you have 100 grand, okay, you make 150 grand or 126 grand, I think you can probably live pretty well on that, okay? Especially if you have no overheads and you have no travel costs and everything else, this is where it comes back to. But realistically, I would say five grand is a good starting point. Okay, 5,000 US. So if you've got 3,000 quid, you know, about the same, 3,500 quid. The, um, you know, generally with 5,000 bucks, okay, you're going to be making $375 per full winning trade. Now, now, just put this into perspective, okay? Don't forget there's like 50-odd opportunities a month just on the fundamental releases alone. So over the course of a year, there's so many opportunities. Now, the education itself costs 2,975 bucks. You need to have 7.9 winning trades here, even with 5,000 bucks in your account, to make your cash back from the, the cost of the education. So it's a very small price to pay. If you've got 10 grand, you need to make three and a half trades, or just over three and a half trades. If you've got 20 grand, well, probably about two trades, and you're actually done. Okay, so that's what, what we mean. We've, we've, we've made this affordable and realistically realistic for people to get into the opportunity Start trading successfully with the trading team behind them. Now, the next sort of more most common question is, okay, how much uh, time do you need to commit? Well, once you, you understand the core knowledge, and we're talking fundamental analysis and technical analysis, which is the core component of the workshop, okay, you only need sort of 15 or 20 minutes per day. This isn't about lengthy time in front of the computer. This gives you enough time to, to reassess your technical levels, reassess the fundamental perspective, and the fundamentals aren't changing every day like people think. There are new numbers coming out which we assess and look for those opportunities, but the central bank sentiment isn't changing daily. They sit that once a month and that's it. So when you come back to understanding the market, so after that 30-day program, you should only be sort of spending somewhere between 15 or 20 minutes a day looking for the opportunities and then placing your tr your capital in the market. Capital management that is going to control your risk, give you exponential growth and quick drawdowns. The maximum you're going to risk is 20%, and this is trading aggressively, of your capital. Okay, you put 5,000 bucks in, you're only risking 1,000 bucks over the course of your trading career. Okay, that's what you've got to understand. Then once you get that aspect done and you're squared away, okay, you can trade from anywhere and whenever you want, okay? We're going to show you when the markets are on and when they're off. You'll be able to identify where the best opportunities are and where the crap ones are. So what you end up having is you end up having more success. You do less trades and are more successful than you probably have been before. Okay, so with the, um, uh, now, so that, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's, there's a whole range of things we can go through. As I said, the, the educational suite is, is outrageously extensive. And you're going to have the support of the trading team 
to identify and take you through those. So not only do you get access to the full educational suite, we do the online training as well. So you, you get up the curve with regards, um, you know, not just going through the videos, you get a chance to ask questions and go through that as well. Now with the uh, the cost, the actual, it's 2,975 US, okay, the, um, I think at the moment there's actually a chance the, uh, the um, the account where it's going into at the moment, I think, this is where you guys could probably get a discount at the moment. It's actually set up as um, the bank switched over the wrong account, so it's actually 2975 Aussie at the moment, but it's set up as a US account. That'll be corrected in the next week, so there's a chance there to get a, uh, a slight discount on the exchange rate if you're um, quick enough on that. Now, just to answer a couple of questions here, um, now, when, when you're trading, right, you've got to have some specific goals. And uh, I can see, Brent, you're saying there, you can't live on 26500 a year. Well, I used an example there of $10,000 capital, okay, just to make it very simple for people. I can tell you, if you've got 10 grand invested and you're making 126% or 160%, I should say, 165%, I mean, that's a lot more than you're going to get in the bank. Okay, what are you going to do with your 10 grand? Stick it in the, in the bank and get 1% or half percent? And this is a pretty good opportunity to make a serious amount of cash. Don't forget you have exponential growth. As you're making more money, your trade size is going up. So if you put 10 grand in the account, by the time you get to 25 grand, you'll be trading 300,000 and your growth, your exponential growth there is now three times what you initially were making. You, your step ups here are very, very uh, quick and extensive. Now, Catherine, your question there, you live in London, so how do I make this training work best for me? Um, as I said, I worked at uh, Citibank on the, on the major uh, trading desk there for three years. I'm very, very uh, comfortable with the uh, London setup. We have got a bunch of guys who are sort of looking to set this up very shortly, but the main part of uh, trading, the best thing about London is you've probably got the busiest time zone as far as you know, where the best activity is. Now, it goes through cycles, through, through Asia, U, the UK or Europe and then North America. But the best way to, to get this is you join up online, okay? You get access to the uh, training system. As I said, the, the training webinars and the schedule is global. So you're not going to miss out on anything by being uh, in a different location. Now, I'm just doing this webinar from uh, Sydney at the moment. I was in New York for the last two weeks and uh, we have a team of guys uh, that cover the uh, UK zone. So the um, you're not disadvantaged by being elsewhere. This is actually probably even more beneficial. Okay. Um, do we get access to the live trading desk with the $88 a month? Absolutely you do. With that $88, you get access to the live trading desk. You always obviously have access to the, uh, the educational product, um, but also the live trading desk is the most important part, plus the trade alerts and also the, all the market updates and all those sorts of things as well. So you do, we made this thing, you know, it's it's trying to sort of really bring a professional product to the market at a reasonable retail price. I know there's companies that are charging 20 grand for half of our product, but that's not what this is about. It's about sort of getting you guys in the groove and getting things going. Okay. Now I've got a couple of other questions here with uh, um, so uh, Dan here. Um, once I make a, a start making a ton of cash, what's the next step? Well, this is one of the, the key parts is there's no sort of really holding you back here how far you take this. Um, we've had a, a couple of guys take, put in, you know, five grand accounts and turn it into multiple hundreds of thousand dollar accounts over the course of one year. We had a, um, a dentist who came through a year ago who turned five grand into 220 grand in 12 months. Now, that was a completely outrageous result, but it goes to show it can be done. Now, a lot of traders are making cash you know, somewhere around the sort of 300% mark per year. It really comes down to your aptitude. As I said, psychology is the most important part here. You have the potential to blow yourself up because you are sitting there by yourself. The idea of the live trading disc is to keep you tuned into what's going on so you don't over trade, you don't double up on the wrong trade, you don't sort of start chasing your tail when, when you feel like the, the wheels are falling off. So, um, uh, now, David, a question from yourself. Brad, when does the 30-day program start? As soon as the, prog 
a payment goes through or once you have time to go through all the training videos and attend a workshop? That's a good question. We had a, a bit of a structure there where it was actually on when you start. The actual 30-day program, it does start straight away, but it's actually 45 days. We give you like two weeks to get into the groove here to get a bit of understanding and then get into it. So we do still market as a 30-day program, even though the whole thing is, I, I believe, 45 days, 40 to 45 days. So we want to make sure that you, you are comfortable with giving you time to get into the actual workshop itself, give, get you some time to get the, um, the videos under your belt as well. Don't forget, you've got 24-hour access to this stuff. So once you get in there and then we've explained the fundamentals and technicals on top, that's where it's going to come together. As I said, the real live, the real learning comes through the live trading desk. Listening to the traders, they'll come back with the same trading process that you have, looking at the market. Every time they can turn the computer on, fundamentally, technically, here's the best trade over here, put the trade on, walk away. Okay? If we're trading live data events, which is what we do is generally we schedule a lot of these live trading events around the high impacting numbers because that's where we believe we can teach you a lot more about the fundamentals and how the market's impacting. But every time we come back to the market for one of these events, we're reassessing the market fundamentally and technically to give you more understanding of each time. How many days does it take to build a habit? 30 days. Funnily enough, this is going to become so habitual, we're going to be drilling this process into you, and funnily enough, at the same time, you should be making money along the way. So it's a sort of a learning process to go with this. Okay, so that's the, um, the whole process. Now, a question here from uh, Dan. Now, can I get a job out of this? Well, there are potentials for, for opportunities here, okay? Whether it's uh, through our trading company or externally. It really comes down to your performance. Now, just coming back through this, and this is what uh, we've got a, a number of guys that always ask us, what's the next step? Now, once you've gone through the online trading process, and you can, you can actually incorporate this straight away. We have set up, and we're about to launch um, at, on the 1st of July, the first one will be in Sydney, the next one in New York, probably then London and then Hong Kong. These will be rolled out very quickly because we have the traders. I mean, I worked in Sydney, London and New York at some of the biggest, on the biggest trading teams. We've got uh, a, a, a network of senior FX traders who have been in this game for 20 odd years uh, who are trading these um, our accounts. So we get these guys involved. What we're, what we're sort of building and constructing is the Trades for Traders trade school. Now, the whole product that you see right now that I've gone through is available online and that gets you trading. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, well, we're going to provide that resource as well. Now, the whole idea of this is, is providing a professional trading environment. This really comes back to those traders who want to take it to the next level beyond just trading for themselves. If you're looking to become a fund manager or a professional trader, Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get you in the office here and really challenge you, see how good you are. Okay, see how dedicated you are to actually trading, making sure you're efficient. Okay, this process is going to include, you know, you have the opportunity to trade live accounts, but we want to get everyone into the office on a, on a, on a basis. It goes for a month. You'll be trading in the live trading dealing room with us over the course of four weeks. Okay, so you're going to be sort of matched against your peers. Now, it's not a matter of who makes the most money. We're looking for profitable traders. So it doesn't matter if you're trading um, you know, massive or small. It's going to be on percentages. But what we're looking for, if you're good enough, well, then we'll take you to the next step and you'll be uh, getting into a position where potentially coming on board in a, in a trading capacity. What that Over that course of that four weeks, okay, there'll be daily coaching from the traders. And this is a more relaxed environment because there's no sort of rush to go through this. Okay? You would have weekly one-on-one -on -one performance reviews, okay, individual looking at your performance on various currencies. Don't forget this is where the traders in the trading rooms get a lot of their ideas. It's actually chewing the fat and just talking through the currencies, you know, as we go through the course of the day on the specific currencies themselves. At the end of the month, looking at your overall performance. Okay, have you made money? Have you, uh, you know, have you done well analyzing the markets, communicating with the team? We're looking to, to set up a, and expand our trading team because the more capital we get, the more traders we need to trade it. 
Now, this is where that whole process comes into play. The um, you know, if you want to sort of spend a month, you know, on top of what you've already got, and I can I can tell you, you're not going to need this unless you really want it. This is as I said for those traders who are looking to go above and beyond the normal program to get longer, deeper, you know, more um, comfortable knowledge. Well, then that's where you can come into the trade school and and take it to the next level. You know, generally, you know, a lot of university students, this is very appealing to them. A lot of most people have uh, jobs, so taking a month off work isn't realistic. Okay, but at the same time, you can come and go if you want to get involved in this at your leisure. Now, this is, and I'm not sort of trying. I'm just trying to tell you what what the various components is. So that, like, the, as I said, the, the core cost of the program here at the moment is two nine seven five. If you want to come into the office for for um, you know, after you're all going well, if you want to take it, as I said, potentially take it to the next level, well, and this isn't, and I, and I can tell you, you don't need to do this to be successful. The, um, the the program will be will cost two and a half grand for the month. You'll have your own trade station in the dealing room. You'll be trading alongside the trading team. Obviously, chance to join the trading team at the end of it if you are being successful, and most importantly, learning in a professional environment. Okay, so this is one thing that, uh, you know, if you are ready to take it to the next level, where we can take you if you are looking for, you know, you want to get experience, well, you're not going to get more experience than this. At the same time, over that four weeks, we want to make sure you're making money and making a lot of it. Okay, then you'll have the choice whether you want to do this for yourself, become more of a fund manager, okay, and then really harness this. Now, we've... Um, made this as, as simple as we can in the, in the whole structure of it. The, um, so, as I said, this is a secondary component of the whole program. Getting you up the curve straight away is the most important part. Okay? Understanding the market fundamentally and technically, looking, understanding the different time zones, understanding the behavior of the different currencies. That's where your where your knowledge and skills and success really comes from. As I said, the, the, the trading school is for those traders who have a lot of time up their, up their sleeve um, and are going to be uh, you know, really harnessing your, your growth and experience. Catherine, the, the trade school it will be opened on the 1st of July in Sydney. I would expect uh, within a month it to be open in London and New York as well. Okay, we already had the team on, on deck, so it's a matter of actually getting the, um, just getting the components here, doing one centre at a time, one month at a time, so it won't be too long before this is available to everyone. Now, I know, why have we set this up? Well, the, the online component of the training gets you trading successfully straight away. What the trade school does, it gives you a chance to trade with real traders. I'm talking guys out of the banks. I'm not talking a bunch of guys that had an idea, let's get a trading team. I'm talking guys who have worked at some of the biggest, on the biggest trading desks in the world. You're not going to get more experience than by sitting with these guys and just chatting. Funnily enough, that's where a lot of the real good stuff comes out. We actually start talking about things that we probably haven't thought about before. And next thing you know, you've got greater insight into actually what you're doing um, than you probably have had through a lot of the other components. Um, do we get to see the board of real-time data? Absolutely. Okay. Do we send out the trade alerts before or after the data releases, considering the market may move very fast? We do both. Okay. Now, if we've got a bunch of trades already on, we'll probably be reassessing those before the release. If we're trading with pending orders on the release or whether we're actually trading live, we'll send out that release as well. So you know exactly what you're doing. Now, if you're in the live trading desk itself, looking at the traders, you'll obviously get that first hand. The, the economic data, the, the news alerts we, we use are, or the news services we use Reuters Zenith, that is real-time news. Okay, so you're going to have the ability to watch that as well. Do I personally teach the course? Yes, I do. I, I teach a number of the components. The other guys, you'll be surprised at how, uh, ex how deep and experienced our team is, but the, um, the major part is, this is like, you know, the focus is, is building good traders that we can potentially harness through the trade school to give you a potential career in this. So one of the other components of, that, of the trade school is, if you are successful, we will come through and start to you know, offer a, a position and allocate capital for you to trade. It will be based on a profit share system. So you're trading our capital with no risk on a profit share basis. You can also be trading your own accounts at the same time. 
So this is actually a chance for you to become a real trader in, in, in an institution. Um, now, David, very good question here. Do you think the trading methods and timeframes used by T for T would be able to be implemented by someone working a full-time job? Absolutely. The best thing about having a job is it distracts you. Now, at some stage, it can can hinder you because you know there may be some opportunities, and you're uh, busy at your job for the day. Then the situation is, you know, you might miss a few things. But the best thing about having a job is it distracts you and keeps you away from sitting in front of the computer, you know, boring yourself to tears. A lot of people sort of come to us and say, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to give up my job and trade this full time. Well, I would generally say take your time. Okay, there's no need to be uh, you know, leaving your job because when you, when you assess the market, you're doing it when you first get up. Why is that? Because that's when traders get into the institutions. They assess the market when they, when they get up. So each time you look at the market, you can generally work out where the general bias is and where the best levels to get in are. Okay, and you're just simply placing your orders in the market. Now, if there's events happening through the course of the day, well, we'll be sending out trades. You can get onto your broker on any mobile app, okay, cancel the orders or add new positions. If we see opportunities during the day, we're sending out those trade alerts, you can actually simply have a look at the market if you get the opportunity, okay, or place those orders in the market yourself. Now, that's the sort of scope of this. And then, you know, this becomes a part of your lifestyle. It doesn't become your lifestyle. It's very important that you trade. Trading becomes a part of what you do, not what you are. Okay, people who get too caught up in this and spend too much time on it, they end up going a little bit crazy. So the, um, the whole component of what we're doing here is making you efficient, extremely efficient to identify where the best opportunities are, okay, giving you the opportunity to become a professional and unleash basically an unlimited amount of cash. Um, now, a question here from uh, Peter. How do we know that your traders are efficient? They may be experienced, but are they constantly successful? If so, why do they need to be in your organization? Have you got a track record of, of the success or not on the trade alerts over the last year? We had the uh, trade alerts over the last, we've actually just rebuilt the app. Over the last two years, the, the trade alerts themselves were up 300% both years. Oh, I think it was 10, 11, and, or 10, 11, and 12. Now, the, um, what, um, what the whole situation is, the um, now traders, right? So sitting at home trading, it's quite isolating, can be quite boring. You, you must be asking yourself, well, why do traders work in banks? Well, you go, you go to work and you get paid. Now, you don't have to sort of sit there in a bank and actually go through this. Are our traders always successful? No, no way at all. You've got to understand that losing is a part of trading, okay? With our capital management system, this is a pretty good point. You're going to be having three and a half winners out of ten and still coming out on top. Now, what we're trying to teach you is looking for, for winners, low risk, high probability, where you're getting seven winners out of ten. That's in nice normal market conditions. So are our traders always successful? No, because when the market goes a bit pear-shaped, it's not until you've had two or three losses that you work out, hang on, something's going a bit weird here. I better slow down a bit. That's what the capital management does. It actually controls that framework. So you will go through periods of, of drawdown. You'll go through periods of large exponential growth, and that is a normal cycle for all traders. You've got to understand you're not making money every time you place a trade. Okay? So the, um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. The, um, <laughs> no, I'm not calling you there, crazy there, Brent. The, uh, what it is is it's actually... What you can understand, this is actually having specific goals with regards to your, your trading and your capital growth. Now, if you're looking at uh, opportunities here, it depends on how much capital you have to allocate to your trading account. Now, I wouldn't be um, you know, putting you under pressure. This is where why would traders work with us? Because they're not under pressure. They don't have to allocate their own capital to be trading. Okay, so what do you get from working with an organization? You'll be fine. I've retired. Uh, twice out of the banks. You know, I've travelled the world numerous times. I can tell you it's extremely boring when all your friends and everyone you know have full-time jobs. You'll see you get home. I was retired when I was 35. Okay, I can tell you it was the most boring year out of my life. I travelled around Tahiti for three weeks on a sailing boat. 
went to uh, across South America, you know, skiing all over the joint. It was great. You had a good time. But then it's like, well, where's everyone else? There's a lot more that you're going to get out of um, actually doing this. And you can ask, you know, any millionaire, and I'm talking from Richard Branson to um, George Soros, why are they still working? Why are they working in an organization? Because you get a bit of a kick out of it. That's the main part of it. But at the same time, you want to be making money. That's, that's probably one of the more fun parts about actually doing this. Um, okay, let me just come back to a few other questions here. Um, okay, so yeah, so with the, with the trade school, this is actually going to be implemented in all centers. And that, as I said, it's, it's pretty much come from the, from the clients who come through the uh, product. They're like, well, I'd love to get a bit more of this. Is there a chance to actually come and work in the office? Well, we are going to make that a, a, available. I know there's another organization here who has very little experience, particularly in the UK and Australia, that uh, charges 20 grand for this stuff. You know, we're going to blow these guys out of the water by offering a more professional product with real traders, you know, real experienced traders out of banks as opposed to you know, someone that did the course last week and then uh, offer it for such a discounted price, you know, really give them a shake. And that's the whole idea of this, is actually bring some real experience to the market, give you guys a chance to harness you know, the real aspirations you have from trading. Um, another question here, my dream is to work with a broker and travel overseas. Is this the right step? Absolutely. The best thing about FX is, and it's a global phenomenon obviously, but global FX, this is transferable anywhere. If you've got the core experience, how to trade and how to make money, there's always a chance to get a job in an FX institution, you know, the same as what we're offering. At the same time, you'll find that most broken companies, you'll be a valuable resource if you know how to trade in the market itself. Now, most of the people there are just sales guys, and they don't understand how to actually trade anyway. They're just trying to get people to sign up accounts. So there's, there's a huge amount of potential in this market as it continues to expand. Okay. <laughs> Good question here. Do I get a discount if I bring five of my friends to the course? Well, yeah, yes, of course you will. The, um, that's another thing. So if you, if you have that opportunity, by all means, give us the heads up. If you've got a small group of you, well, then we can actually, uh, we will give you a discount for the, for the group. Okay, that's, that's one thing that we have worked with, you know, even sort of other family members. There's, uh, there's deals that we can do there to get uh, you, know, you through the door and get you all up the curve confidently. We had a number of people who were sort of saying, well, I'll do the course and I'll train my brother or sister or, or mother or father. And then, you know, they lose track of the whole training process and then it's easy to give you a discount to have everyone trained properly. Can I tell us, can I tell you what broker we use? Uh, yes, Warwick, I can. We use a company called FX Asia. Um, they are based, they're an Australian regulated broker. Um, they are sort of for obviously more focusing on the Asian market, but they are a global company that uh, takes every client from all over the place, obviously except for the US. US regulators have really uh, put a kibosh on that one. Um, now, do I recommend brokers to use? Well, you know, when it comes down to brokers, it's all personal preference. Now, I'm not going to sort of determine or dominate or none of our trading team will who you actually use. It's really down to your personal preference. We'll tell you who we're using and why we use them. And with that efficiency, there's a, there's a number of things. We use a, a number of brokers. And coming out of the wholesale market, I can tell you the retail broking market is a bit of a conundrum. There's a lot of brokers out there who are taking the piss. And when I say that, they are, they are messing with your execution. They are slowing it down. They are taking extra points out of every trade you place and all these components. I was actually part of putting together the, um, the, um, uh, the FX Asia component, especially the leader lounge where you can actually harness your wealth. Do we use MT4? Yes, we do. Okay, but I found MT4 to be one of the clumsiest uh, platforms out there. So what we did is we spent a year building uh, a trade manager, we call it T-Rex, to execute our trades for us. Okay, this is one of the components, and I'll just get this up for you, uh, give you a bit of a demonstration here. This is one of the components of the back end that you will have access to. This is one of the trading tools that we use. Okay, if I just come back into uh, Sterling here, which we just had a look at that uh, economic data release. This is uh, T-Rex here. It's just a, it adds itself like an expert advisor. Okay, but if I'm looking to trade multiple currency pairs here, and this is um, 
you know, this is a, as I said, this is a professional execution system uh, or manager that will will smash the currencies all over the place, okay, on the flick of a switch. Uh, let's go to say euro as well. Okay, so I've got these currencies here. Okay, I've got the trade manager on. Now, say for instance I was trading live economic data releases. Okay, and I'm looking to place a trade either side of the market. Okay, 15 points either side before the release. We 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 determine, uh, for instance, that the uh, the currency is going to go one way or the other. Okay, we, we determine how far away from the market we want to get into the currency. We have a stop, a stop loss and take profit. These are OCR orders. Okay, I've got the trade manager on. You can simply use this. Okay, and it will execute multiple trades across the um, all the currency pairs that we've selected here. So let me just. I think we've just gone offline there for a second. Okay, here they come now. So it should come through. You'll actually be able to execute, you know, say four or five potential trading opportunities in the flick of a switch. Okay, these are all OCR orders too. So if the currency moves aggressively one way, half the orders will be cancelled. All the trades that are in the cash will stay on, and then you have the opportunity to either close them all out or um, reassess the situation. Now this is a great tool. We built it predominantly for, um, say, trading the majors. Okay, looking at, um, you know, if we do have a US number, trying to trade all the currencies because when you're actually trading yourself, you know, you're only one resource. It's very hard to hit all the currency pairs if you've only got one set of arms and legs. Okay, and, and using a, a platform like MT4 is a nightmare. As I said, it's it's pretty clumsy. So even going through this and setting up the uh, multiple currencies here, so I've got the most of the major currencies here. You can come back in here. If I do control, this is how easy it is. You can set these templates up, and these are some of the templates I have set for this opportunity. You go execute. Okay, the uh, trades are set here on all the major currency pairs. So when you've got big releases, you can ex get exponential growth here and opportunities by placing multiple pairs, multiple opportunities here on these currencies. As you can see down the bottom here, all the currencies are set. And you know, these, um, so this is a professional system that you will have access to. Uh, can you trade the indices as well? Yes, you can. Okay, you can actually trade them. Depends on which broker you've got. We have um, all the indices here on the left-hand side, which you can um, hit any time that you fancy it. Okay, you can trade all these indices and get uh, as much leverage as you want, either out of the crosses, or the majors, or the indices. Okay. Now the best thing about the indices is they are trading technically like the major currency pairs these days. So it does provide opportunities, even if you don't have experience in the equity markets themselves. Okay. Um, now, what is the minimum hardware needed? We you need to use. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I've got uh, a dual screen here. That's all you pretty much need. Now you don't need a lot. The best thing about the hardware is the you know technologies come down in value in price so quickly over the last you know three or four years. It's very efficient. Now I've got two 27 inch screens here. It's probably as big as you need to go. In the old days in the banks we used to have like half a dozen screens. The um, what uh, we what why they had those is because they used to use old technology. Now they're much more efficient. You probably have two or three big screens and that's it. All you need is I would have two screens, predominantly one to use as your trading platform and the other to use as your, um, um, you know, for your charts, one to trade in the news, the other one to trade the actual currencies on. Okay, so I'll just give you a look at the, uh, I mean, the Reuters Zenith. This will give you a bit more insight into the actual, uh, what we've got. Um, the uh, and the whole product here, it's about sort of bringing the real market into your into your uh, office, uh, whether it's in your house or in your actual workplace. Uh, can do we have the Italy Forty as an industry on your platform? I think it, we do. We have access to add all those uh, all those indices as well. I mean, the uh, they usually ask us what do we want. We just tell them what we want. And they actually add it. So that's the best thing about that as well. But as far as uh, like. Hardware, you need very little, and it's it's quite affordable these days. So that's the best thing about um, you know harnessing the market at the moment. All right, now um, I'm afraid to, of asking questions, but if I have to have to, where do I ask for help? Well, 
in on the uh, actual members area, we have a couple of dedicated sites. Like on this, uh, the uh, site in front of you, we have the info at tradersfortraders.com. We also have a, um, you know, we can either, you can either get us on Skype, okay? With a lot of traders, um, if they're having IT issues, we use TeamViewer to actually set up their, their software and their templates. All the templates that we use on our platform, whether it's the news service or something else, we have the ability to either use TeamViewer and set those up for you, but all the templates are on the trading tools area. You can download those and add them to your system straight away. Um, now, another good question here, is it spot FX we're trading or FX futures contracts? What we're trading is, is, is spot FX, okay? The futures market opens and shuts. It's got limited liquidity. It's something that we used to manipulate when we're in the banks going back you know, 10 or 15 years ago. But you can rather trade both, but the problem is, is the limited liquidity in the futures market and the fact that, that the damn thing closes. So what we're trading is is spot FX, okay, but you can actually sort of use both. depends on where you are. A lot of traders in the U.S. still uh, like to bang away on the futures. Um, you know, it's so much more easier. Like trading futures as well, you've got various clearing dates. It's a bit of a pain in the ass squaring up the positions. Um, you know, as the positions are rolling and those sorts of things. It's a bit of a nightmare. Is T-Rex available outside of the course? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, we, we actually built T-Rex for our own traders. What we found is through the course of our training that people were finding T, uh, MT4 so clumsy that we didn't, um, you know, we started to use it with them. And then we found how much they you know, it improved their overall performance that we started including it in the actual training program itself. Loads of people have tried to ask us whether they can buy it outside of the course. You actually can't. It's actually part of the whole program. Okay, so that's one of the one of the key features is actually getting this because it's all inclusive. Um, now, how do I become how do I overcome the fear of putting a trade on? Well if you're a new trader and you don't have that much risk um, you know, you're a bit risk averse. Well, the best thing is the trade plan and the capital management system will have you extremely confident and comfortable in placing trades because you know your capital is protected at all times. Most people are nervous about trading because they don't understand what they're trading. Usually they're looking at indicators to tell them whether to buy or sell. In this situation, you'll be identifying opportunity from what you can see and how the real market works. Okay, with that capital management and trade plan behind you, you're not worried about losing, you're more thinking about winning. Okay, so that's where the difference is between having a professional experience and training to just having training on technicals with some indicators. You know, it's two different, they're eons apart. Okay, and uh, another one here, have you worked with the banks to train cadets to trade FX? We have actually, we've worked with, the, with uh, two banks here in Australia, two of, the, two of the big four, to actually train their trading team. I mean, I was the, the chief dealer of, of uh, a couple of different institutions, Citibank and uh, Commonwealth Bank down here in Australia. So we have actually used our program to actually train traders in the wholesale market. This is the, the knowledge you're getting. It's, it's actually real experience that, that the market, how the market works in it. Okay, so what we're training you isn't like, make believe stuff. It's actually sort of real knowledge and you'll get that through the actual training program. Okay, looking at the uh, markets the same way we do. I mean just to uh, bring in here one of the um, the components of the uh, what where'd it go? Of the whole uh, trading system is uh, I've just lost a few screens there. Uh, is looking at the markets like live screens, looking at even things like harnessing like a correlation matrix here, it's very easy or very hard sometimes to work out where the best trading opportunities are. When we're looking for correlations, we use systems that will tell us objectively where the best correlations are. So when we're looking at trading, say, potentially Euro, we can actually sort of isolate what's, what's trading very closely with Euro and actually placing multiple trades here on these events. And as you can see on the left-hand side uh, here, we aren't sort of just limiting ourselves to the currencies. We're also looking at uh, commodities, uh, indices, uh, treasuries, and a number of various things because the global markets are exactly what they are. They're global. So once we determine where the currencies, where the movement's coming from, we isolate the opportunity 
say it's Euro and we're looking for the best, you know, highly correlating pairs, obviously dollar Swiss would always be up there. Um, the Baltic Ice Index, uh, whether it's the US 10 years, then we start looking across the board here to look for where the best and easiest opportunities are and get that direction. Okay, so that's um, where the real, you know, power of, of understanding what you're doing, where, where it really comes from. Um, now, what else we got here? Do I need any experience to trade? Not at all. When it comes down to experience, some of our best traders, and it's, it's probably a bit of a mixed bag actually, but the uh, as in 50-50, the traders who have got no experience are easier to train. What we've got to do with a lot of traders who have had a lot of experience is actually untrain you. Like get some of this crap that's that you've had inside you that has given you poor results. Show you that it is giving you bad results. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here in the first place. And then showing you why it doesn't work so you understand that. Not, not just sort of saying that doesn't work. We'll tell you why and explain to you why it doesn't work and then show you how, how the real market works and that's where the knowledge and sense really fits in. And, you know, some of the things you may have learned before could be beneficial. So don't like think you're throwing everything away. We're actually complementing and actually showing you the methodology that the wholesale market uses and has. Okay, so that's where the, uh, the difference is. Um, all right, looks like we've uh, exhausted most of the questions there. Um, yeah, my apologies about the, uh, the internet crash there. That was a bit of a, uh, a bit of a nuisance, I've got to say. The um, very good of you to sort of all hang in there. As I said, the um, if you're interested in, in the um, in the whole program, obviously coming back to the um, uh, the whole program here. If you come back to the actual website itself, it's very very easy process to get involved. If you come into the uh, training programs page. Obviously, have a good look through what we've got. This isn't. If you've got more questions, of course, send us an email at info at traders.com. But uh, if you want to join, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, come down to the sign up now button. You'll come to the uh, to the major payment page. Throw in your details. As soon as you make your payment, your payment goes through. You'll get immediate access to the back end. You'll have a username and password to start uh, going through the site. As I said. You get uh, basically 45 days, even though it's a 30-day program. We wanted to sort of make sure that you've got plenty of time here to get organized. You'll get access to the full suite of education, the live trading desk straight away, and you're up and running immediately. This is no like, you know, wait two weeks, do do a month of demo trading, all this sort of stuff. This is like real trading straight away. We want to get you guys into the market, understanding it and trading immediately. So just to check that out. But obviously, you know, if you're not uh, – confident with, with going forward, then come through the site and uh, check out a few of the other components. Um, yes, okay, good question there, Peter. Are students trained to follow specific trade strategies that your team of traders have developed, or is the training for generic tra strategies that each of us can adapt? What you will find is the better traders do adapt the whole methodology to their own personality and risk uh, profiles. Okay, the general strategies we use, okay, they are the same strategies that I was using in the banks and that the whole team were using. This is this is like just basic trading. We're going to show you the methodology of how the market works, how to trade in it and be successful. What we need to do is is work with you to make sure you don't become a robot. You need to sort of take this into your own personality, use your um, you know previous experience and or perception to work out how to adapt the strategies to work best for you, okay? This is like, I, don't, I never sort of say this is like black and white, okay? Because the market is dynamic. This is one of the things you'll learn that the, the, the markets themselves are extremely dynamic. They're a living organism. So you've got to live and breathe with them as they slightly tweak, you tweak. What will happen there is you need to tweak your strategies as various events happen. You know, the core market always comes back to the same thing. but as you saw probably last week with the um, the ECB policy change, you know there's a fundamental shift here. Now we're still adjusting to it. We're looking to get short euro against a number of crosses, whereas previously we, you know, you were sort of probably banging away euro against the dollar. Now it's euro against the crosses. Okay, it's more predominant. What we want to do is show you how to do this and keep giving you the heads up as we go forward. The more you challenge us, the more we will challenge and take you to that next level. 
Um, when does the course start? Is it is it uh, live or pre live or pre recorded? The whole video components of the program have been constructed over the last couple of years, so that the whole core product is recorded. But the online component, we break it down into four sessions. Okay, so then we can actually break it down, not like the same content as the videos, but going through like the core fundamentals, how that fits in. The technicals, very simple. Okay, but what you'll have access to, you'll be able to go back to the video resource to, to retune the whole structure of what you've got. Okay, so there's two parts. There's the live stuff as well as the pre-recorded stuff. It's a bit of a, a bit of a mix. Okay, you'll have access to obviously the pre-recorded stuff, all of it straight away. And then through the course of you know of the program, you can actually come back and revisit the uh, the online components as well as you know continue to learn obviously from those live trading events, which is you know there's usually a couple a day. Okay, well that's uh, pretty good. I mean, this is uh, you know I apologise actually I didn't ex expect this to go that long. I mean you've asked some uh, some very valid questions and some uh, some good ones. Um, as I said, this is uh, more of an introduction to to the Trades for Traders trading program. Obviously, you've got a bit of a bit of a taste here as we've been setting up the uh, the back end components of the trade school as well. The uh, the idea is to get you up the curve running straight away. If you want to take it to that next level, obviously the trade school is going to be there to do that. Okay, spending a month with the trade team is probably going to be an experience that uh, you know you're not going to get everywhere, especially working with a with a fine tuned team. Um, but the whole component of our product is to bring you into the market, make you you know give you the knowledge and experience to give you every possible chance to be a successful trader. You know, professional capital management professional trading software, um, everything we do is very specific and to the point, okay, and it's all about trying to get the best result out of the market for your capital. All right, guys, well, I appreciate your time. Uh, it's been great to uh, run you through this, and, um, you know, if you have any other questions, of course, come back to uh, info at tradesfortraders.com. Uh, myself or one of the team will get back to you very shortly. If you uh, are looking to join up, as I said, there's a, there's a bit of a, a discount at the moment on the actual site. It's because the, uh, even though it's set as a US dollar amount, the uh, the bank screwed up the um, the account. It is actually an Aussie account at the moment, so you, you're probably saving a, uh, you know, two or three hundred bucks at the moment if you uh, jump straight on. That'll probably be corrected, I'd say, within the next week, and then it, it will go back to the generic cost, which is, you know, I'd say a general discount at the same time. Um, yeah, thanks, Peter. Thanks, David. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate your time. Um, have a think about it. If you have any other questions, give us a call. You know, we're here to help. This is a, um, you know, it's all a very interactive uh, product. Appreciate your time. Thanks very much for joining us, and we'll see you again hopefully soon. Cheers, Catherine.